It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Atlanta Falcons. And it comes your way next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us down south to Mercedes-Benz Stadium on the west side of downtown Atlanta. Good to be with you, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson here in the booth. Greg, we've been around for a minute, as the kids like to say. I called your games. There are guys who you played with back in your day who are now the veteran players in the league. And we got a couple of veterans here at quarterback. What a difference it makes for a team when they come in with a guy who knows what he's doing back at quarterback. Oh, it really does. And remember, Mike, the only way to gain experience is to gain experience. There's no magic formula. you got to be in the fire, make mistakes, make great plays, learning lessons. The more you see, the better you get. And no position is that more magnified than in the NFL at the quarterback position. So the fact that these guys have played so many games, so many seasons, they've seen so much, that's a huge advantage for each of these teams. Now, the question is, in today's matchup, who comes out on top? Across the 20, they'll mark him down before the 25-yard line. And that's where the offense will take over. The Steelers led out by their quarterback, Russell Wilson. Still strange to not see him in a Seattle uniform where he was for a decade, a couple of years with the Broncos. And now, Greg, the nine-time Pro Bowler, year one in Pittsburgh. At one point, this guy was one of the top superstars in the entire league. And I don't think he's fallen as far from that as people want to imagine. This is still a winning quarterback in the NFL, and historically, what's been a very dynamic dual threat approach in his game has turned to more of a passing style as he's gotten older. If he puts together one of those vintage performances we've seen over the years, he's gonna be a hard one to beat. Well, they try to get the run game started here early on this drive, Mike, and they're just gonna have to do a better job up front. There's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go. You never wanna lose yards on first down, but that's exactly the case here. Out of the gun, it's Wilson. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. So often we see when those balls get deflected up into the air, they usually turn into interceptions. I think the offense dodged a bullet here, and they're fortunate there was nobody in the area to come down with that pick. They come to the line needing 11 here on third down. Out of the gun, here's Russ. He's got his man. It's Jefferson. And he's going to take this one all the way. 77 yards. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. And that is the way to start a game. Not just score, but Greg, score quickly. A nice opening drive for the first six points. Well, it seems like the hour spent on that opening game script was time well spent. I mean, to take the ball right down the field that quickly, right out of the gates, that's a pretty good opening drive and an early six points. Chris Boswell on for the point after. He's got it. And the Steelers will take a 7-0 lead. Seven nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. Ray Ray McLeod on the return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Falcons led out by their quarterback. Kirk Cousins, one of the big moves in the offseason. Atlanta acquiring Cousins in free agency. He had six years in Washington, the last six in Minnesota, and now he begins his run this season with the Falcons. Ever since he was drafted in the fourth round, all this guy has done is continue to surpass all expectations. And Mike, this isn't some physical specimen like we see throughout the league who has all these unique physical attributes. But he is about as consistent and even feel as the quarterback position gets. And it doesn't hurt that he is a beloved figure in every locker room he finds himself in. They know with this guy behind center, they have a shot to win every single game he plays. 
This defense just gets punched in the mouth on that one, Mike, and it just seemed from up here that not everyone on defense was on the same page, and the offense was able to take advantage of it. The defense has to clean things up here in a hurry, because if they don't, they could be in for a long day. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Now the second year man out of Texas, he's John Robinson. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, nothing more. You want to see linebackers play downhill, Mike, meaning there's not a lot of side-to-side -side pursuit. They're attacking the line of scrimmage, attacking the ball carrier. That's exactly what we saw out of this guy here. He's able to make the stop at the line of scrimmage and keep it to no gain. Under pressure, and down he goes. They got him. Sometimes you just have to know when the play is over and live to play another down. He has pressure coming right at him. And instead of just throwing the ball away, he tries to escape, he tries to get creative, and he ends up losing a lot more yards than he should have. What can they do here? This is third and forever. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. I got high standards for offensive players, but in this case, Mike, I think I'm giving all the credit to the defender. He timed that one up perfectly, and what could have been an easy play ends up as an incomplete. And this one's going to land out of bounds as they'll mark it inside the 20. The Steelers' offense ready to see the football for the second time. They had that lightning bolt to open the game. The long touchdown. They'll try to build on the lead now. This drive begins first and ten. This drive begins with a run by Harris. Not much there. Stops short of the 20. up on a second down and eight. Another run here with Harris. And nothing on that one. Back to the line of scrimmage. And that is it. Clearly the plan on offense was to establish the run a little bit on this drive, Mike, but the defense is having none of it. First and second down stop. No gain. Now it brings up a third and long. We'll see if they try something else. We're going to try to pick this up on third and eight. From the gun, it's Wilson. And this drive is over before it can start. It's swallowed up to force fourth down. The best thing they did here, Mike, is keep their rush lane integrity. What that means is you have to rush the quarterback as a unit. Keep him in the pocket. Keep him on that X. And when you do, man, he becomes a sitting duck for this pass rush. former Texan Cameron Johnston to punt for the Steelers. Ray Ray McLeod deep to return. Oh, how about that hit? Wow. He took a pretty good lick at the end of that one. The Falcons offense ready to see what they can do on their second possession. They've got great starting position with a short field as they try to get back in this one. It is First and ten. No chance at all. He'll go down. They probably would have been better off just handing the ball off to the running back, Mike, because when they used him as a decoy, nobody fell for it. 
By the time he finished his fake and got his head around, the defense was all over him. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Off the play fake, here's Cousins. The pressure gets there, and down he goes. A sack. If there's any silver lining for this drive, Mike, it's the fact that at least this sack occurred on an early down. So I guess technically they have a chance to claw themselves out of this hole, but that's the third sack of the game. This defense doesn't show any signs of slowing down. Working out of the gun, it's Cousins. Throw over the middle, caught by London. So a good chunk of yardage there, but still well short of the first down. When you throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you're relying heavily on the yards after the catch. So give credit to the defense here. Once the ball carrier had the ball, multiple guys around him, corralled him, take him down short of the sticks. Turn fourth coming. It's a touchback, and we'll come out to the 20 yard line. Here comes the Pittsburgh offense now, heading back onto the field. They lead it here early 7 0 as they start with a first and 10. To the outside, catch made by Pickens. These are the play calls, Mike, that offensive coordinators use to just get their quarterback and their passing game into some sort of rhythm. Easy pitch and catch, get the ball out of his hand, see a completion. These typically, as the game goes on, lead to bigger and bigger gains. They go play action with Wilson. He'll find Jefferson coming across the field. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. These crossing concepts are frequently used, Mike, throughout the entire game all across the league. And what it does is it creates a lot of natural rubs. You run out the backside of the defense and rely heavily on the yards after the catch, and it's exactly how they're able to pick up this big game. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Play action. Now, Wilson. That one. Oh, it's on target, but it goes as an incompletion. Looks like he had that one in his grasp, but unable to hold on, and it will be second down. It's always a risky decision anytime a quarterback tries to force the ball, especially into those tightly contested areas. Not a lot of daylight, not a lot of room for error. In this case, it just falls simply as an incomplete. But as this game unfolds, better decisions are going to lead to better results. And nice work there after the catch. He's a little short of the first down after a gain of seven. He'll come up to third and three. Throwing again, Wilson. He's got his tight end. That's fire move. And he will have the first down. The drive will continue after a pickup of eight. I just love the feel this tight end has, Mike, for the defense when they play zone coverage. His ability to find open space and be friendly for the quarterback. It's easier said than done. Certain guys, they want to run routes like their lines on a piece of paper, and they end up going from uncovered space to covered space, but not the case here. He knew he was open. That is caught. What a throw. George Pickens. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. So they take the shot downfield, and it is caught in the end zone for a touchdown. What a big play that is, Greg. Absolutely, Mike. And the key to a play like this is when the ball travels this far in the air, they teach you, don't look back, look up, because that's where the ball will be. And in this case, he was able to secure it and come away with a big touchdown.
And of course, all scoring plays are reviewed. So replay is going to take a look at this one and make sure it is good for six. The question, did he get his hands around the football in the end zone? If he did, it's a touchdown. But this one's going to need very close scrutiny. So ruled a touchdown originally. They didn't find any reason to overturn it. And it stays on the board. The kick is good. Makes the score Steelers 14. Falcons nothing. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. McLeod now to return. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. Here comes the Atlanta offense now. They get set to take over once more. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. Field. That's London. And a big strike for good yardage there all the way up to midfield. It's been a busy first quarter for him so far. His third catch goes for a first down. Throwing now, Cousins. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Bijan Robinson, the intended receiver out of the backfield. And it'll be second down. There's a saying on defense, Mike, tips and overthrows, you've got to get those. Those got to turn into interceptions. So if you're the offense here, after you saw that ball batted in the air, man, I can promise you it felt like a lifetime waiting to see if it just falls harmlessly to the ground. That one pinballs around, but it is incomplete. When you air it out like that on these big shots downfield, they're not always high percentage plays. It takes a lot of things to line up timing-wise, location of the field, accuracy of the throw to result in those big plays. But I think they've got to continue to search for those and try to generate a little bit of a spark. Here's Cousins throwing from the pistol. This one is taken in downfield. Big completion. Next time you're playing zone defense and everybody's eyes are on the quarterback, it's really easy to lose sight of some of the receivers. That's exactly what happened here. He started all the way on the far side of the field and worked his way across. Found a soft spot in the zone, and the quarterback's able to put it on him. Here's first and ten. Now, Cousins. He'll get this to the former Bear, Darnell Mooney. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. This pitch and catch may have looked routine, but I promise you, Mike, these types of anticipatory throws, especially outside the numbers, they don't occur without countless reps, oftentimes when nobody's even watching. Cousins now on second down. Now he takes off. Well, Mike, this is not somebody that you're usually afraid of beating you with his legs, but every now and then, he can do just enough to extend the play. That's exactly what he did here. Picks up enough yardage, converts the first down. On first down, it's Robinson. A gain of four as he's taken down. Now, after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. Athletic training staff looking at him, so we'll step aside. Now a second down throw for Cousins. 
That is caught. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. Here's third down and a few inches. Here's a designed run. And he's going to get stopped in the backfield. He'll take him down at the three-yard line. And you could tell pretty quickly, Mike, that once the quarterback started chopping his feet, that there was nowhere for him to go. Great job by the defense, not only reading quarterback run, but getting him down behind the line. So, instead of going for the first down, in comes the field goal unit. Bit of a surprise here. Who's kick is good. And the Falcons get their first point of the game. They trail 14-3. to three. It's always a little bit of a letdown. Like you find yourself deep in the red zone and you have to settle for a short field goal like that. In this case, he's able to put it through and they get three. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. It's a return. Here comes Calvin Austin. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The Steelers' offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. They built a nice lead for themselves here. They'll try to add to that, beginning with first down. see with that fumble Mike it really just goes back to the fundamentals of how they're taught to carry the ball and they talk about the points of pressure and the biggest thing really Mike is you want the front tip of the ball the part where your fingers cover to always be higher than the back tip of the ball so often you see that front tip go down and it makes it so much easier for that defender to kind of rake it out so you want pressure against the outside of the ball both tips the inside of the ball and then keep that front point up the biggest issue and why they find themselves trailing in this game, Mike, has really just been the ups and downs of this passing game. At some times, he's highly accurate and efficient. But at others, he just misses too many easy throws. The question is, are they going to be able to overcome this quarterback inconsistency and pull this game out? Second down, Cousins. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. Even though it doesn't result in a sack, when you dial up the right pressure at the right time, Mike, sometimes that's all it takes to lead to that incompletion. The timing is just a little off between the quarterback and his intended target, and the ball falls incomplete. To the right. That's Pitts. Outbreaking routes, Mike, especially outside of the numbers, everything is about the timing. If you're late with the throw, you're going to be watching that defensive back take that thing the other way for six. So, a little extra time to think about what to do on fourth down as we are through quarter number one. It's the Steelers with the early lead. Greg and I back in Atlanta after this. A field goal, no gimme from this distance. They'll go on fourth down. Cousins. That's over the middle and taken in. He's got it. And he's going to have a Falcons first down. They get it easily. It was fourth and one, and the pickup was five. Play action now. It's Cousins. He's got it at about the eight. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the ten. First time these two have connected this afternoon. And it'll wind up being a first down. Talk about a thing of beauty. Mike, did you see how many tight ends were on the field on that last play? They call it 13 personnel because there's one running back, three tight ends, one wide receiver so everybody on defense is thinking run they catch him off guard a little with the pass 
and they take advantage of it with a big game downfield. Well, a chance to get right back in it here. First down and goal. Here's Cousins. He puts it up, and it's caught. Kyle Pitts. Touchdown, Falcons. Greg, it's the quarterback's best friend, and you were that guy for a lot of years. The tight end in a tight area with man coverage. Yeah, and it's really twofold, Mike, right? First and foremost, we see so many of these tight ends around the league that now have gotten to the point where one-on-one -on -one matchups, that's advantage offense. But then even in the cases they don't create great separation, Mike, it's their size, their catch radius. It's such a friendly target for the quarterback that when things get tight in the red zone, they look to the tight end. Koo able to add the extra point. And the Falcons are back within four. It is 14 to 10. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. On the return, here comes court Daryl Patterson. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. Steelers offense and running back Najee Harris getting set to take over once more. The lead sits at four. So he'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. From the shotgun, Wilson. That's complete. Left side to Pickens. And will mark him down just shy of the 40. That's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down. Now it's Wilson. That's to the left side and taken in by Jefferson. And he will go all the way. Van Jefferson. Touchdown, Steelers. His second touchdown of this first half. And that is number two. Greg, he is off to some kind of start in this one. Two quarters and two receiving touchdowns. Mike, this is one of those situations where as a defensive coordinator, you've got to give your group an answer because right now they don't have one for this guy. Boswell now for the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Steelers are out to a 21 to 10 lead. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Avery Williams on the return. And he's brought down right at the 35-yard line. And those numbers tell a lot of the story of this first half, don't they, Mike? I mean, it's easy to see why he was a central piece in this game plan, and he makes another grab there to add to this growing stat line. On first and ten, Cousins. He's got this to be John Robinson. Great example of first down efficiency. You don't always have to go for the big play, but put yourself in a friendly second down. Now you have equal opportunity to both run and pass. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second and inches. They go play action with Cousins. A ball deep for the end zone. That one knocked away. It is incomplete. Very good job defensively. Stayed right with him. And will bring up third down. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, Hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. 
open man is Mooney. He's got it. 17 yards on that connection. First down, Atlanta. shotgun. It's Cousins. That's complete to McLeod. Here's a second and three forthcoming. Working out of the gun, it's Cousins. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. At this level, you just would expect a little bit better execution and accuracy on those intermediate throws. I think he had an opportunity there for a nice pickup. Off target, off rhythm, and ends up getting away from him. They'll try to run for it with Robinson. Give him 14 on that one. It's good for a Falcon first down. Up until that run, this first half, it's kind of been tough sledding here for this run game. They'd love to see him get going. That last big pickup's going to go a long way. The break the huddle coming up now for first and ten. Now here's Tyler Algier out of BYU. He'll work his way ahead for a game of about four. Here's a second and six. On the give, it's Robinson. And this defense up to the task there. Gate of just two, and it's third down. He's got it at the three. And the Falcons are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them down to the one. Big time conversion there on third down. Finding yourself trailing at the moment. The last thing you want to do is waste this promising possession. Now, with that throw, they find themselves deep in their opponent's territory. They have to come away with the touchdown to try to cut into this deficit. Now, this looks like a design run. And he's not going to get in. In fact, he'll lose yardage. They push him backwards. The reason teams love calling the quarterback's number on design quarterback runs, Mike, is because in the blocking scheme, you gain one additional blocker. It didn't matter here. The defense was ready for it, and they're able to bring the quarterback down for a loss. Cousins. That's hauled in at the two. yard it's third and goal now this is going to be a design run they let him keep it and he will do it himself he's in Kirk cousin touchdown atlanta that is second touchdown of the afternoon the dual threat of the quarterback when you have one that can run why not use him especially down here greg and they punch it in for the touchdown. There's nothing a quarterback loves more, Mike, than down here near the goal line when he can call his own number. And in this case, that's exactly what he does, and he's able to take it in himself. Koo able to add the extra point. And Falcons are back within four. It's 21 to 17. Once more as the kicks away. 
Patterson now to return it. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. Let's add that to the list of great throws we've seen out of this quarterback here in the first half. We thought he might be in line to have a good game, especially against this style of defense. But let's be honest, Mike, he's been more than just good. He's been sensational. There's a short one caught by Fryermuth. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. Here's second and three to go. Wilson lines up in the pistol. Quick throw here is complete. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. An eight-yard pickup. First down, Steelers. Here's a give left side to Harris. And he'll work forward for about three. It's second down. Gonna be a delay. Still second down. Still second down. Out of the gun, here's Russ. And it's complete. To the sideline, nice job getting both feet down inbounds. This is why the timing of these routes is so critical. If that ball is thrown a little bit later, he's unable to keep his feet in bounds, but instead the quarterback is on time and accurate, and the receiver does a nice job not only securing the catch, but ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. We'll try to run for it with Harris. 14 on the pickup. That's a stealer first down. There's a big conversation going on right now around the NFL about what is the true value of having a run game. And I've always thought it comes down to being good at three situations. Can you run the ball in the fourth quarter with a lead? How well can you run the ball on the goal line? And then in this case, how well can you run the ball in short yardage situations? They go play action with Wilson. That one broken up. It is incomplete. They tried the shot on first down. Couldn't connect. It'll bring up second down. This is teach tape for man defense, Mike. I mean, he's not looking back at the quarterback at all. He is in the hip pocket of his receiver. He's staying in phase and in rhythm. And then he knows when the wide receiver's hands go up, attack the ball. And that's about as good as it gets. That's over the middle and taken in by Fryermuth. So move the sticks. That is a first down picked up. Out of the gun, it's Wilson. And he'll be taken down as we tick down to the two minute warning. So, two minutes to play in a back and forth first half. Greg and I back to Atlanta in a moment. Wilson. That's made by Pickens. 
They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. It takes a certain guy in that slot position to be willing and able to go across the middle of the defense on those in-breaking routes. You can tell this guy, he doesn't care. He is fearless going across the middle, and he's able to secure a nice catch. Wilson now to throw on third down. He's got his tight end. That's fire move. And the Steelers are going to have first and goal as the tackle's made at about the five-yard line. Third down is when we see so many tight ends around the league really make their money. They operate in the middle of the field. They're a big, easy target for the quarterback. And even if they are covered, Mike, they're not really ever covered. Well, here's the chance to cap off a great half. They have it first and goal. To throw again is Wilson. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. Pat Fryermuth, the intended receiver. And it'll lead to a second and goal. Here in the first half, we've seen nothing but connections from these two guys. I mean, they've come out completely on fire. So the defense finally gets a stop, and really the first time we've seen these guys be a little bit off. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can feel them starting to press a little bit, especially with this passing game. They find themselves so close to the end zone, they got to get it over the goal line. Got to be a little bit more accurate. You got to be a little bit smarter with the ball. And right now, the timing, the spacing, it's just not matching up. On third and goal, Wilson. To the goal line and in. Pat Fryermuth, touchdown Pittsburgh. He has done it again. That is four touchdown passes in this first half. Greg, he might skip halftime with the way he's performing right now. Yeah, Mike, this passing attack is just really unstoppable. I mean, it is just remarkable the success he's been able to have. We're not even at halftime yet. He finds himself on record pace. I can't wait to see what he does the rest of this game. On for the extra point is Boswell. The kick is good. And the Steelers add on one more as they extend their second quarter lead. They didn't leave much time on the clock to put together a drive here at the end of the first half. And the kickoff's coming their way. Williams now to return. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. The Falcons offense going to get it one final time in this first half. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and ten. Throwing now, Cousins. Short throw taken by Pitts. He's taken down, but just shy of midfield. First and ten. Now, Cousins. That's caught. It's hot. Second down, Cousins. Quick throw, taken in, and he will have a first down, and they're in the field goal range now at the 30. Out is Young Way Koo to try the field goal. 
This will be from 47 yards. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Falcons are able to get it back within a score. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. This one will be taken in the end zone. No run back forthcoming. And the ball coming out to the 30-yard line. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. Okay, Mike, thank you. More from you and Greg in a moment. But for now, welcome one and all to our EA Sports Halftime Reports. We saw a couple of high-octane offenses getting it done in the first half. Both teams had no problems moving the football. And you'd have to think, the team whose defense shows up in the second half is going to be the one who walks out of here with a victory. Coach, thank you. Not a rest at the break for the defensive coordinators trying to figure out how to stop these offenses as we get ready for the second half. Third quarter set to commence. And we're back underway here on EA Sports. McLeod now to return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. So out comes the Chicago offense as they get set to take over once more. Set to go now on first and ten. The drive will begin here with a run by Robinson. He'll burrow his way forward for a couple. Patrick Queen, the linebacker. They're on the tack. Another run here for Robinson. He'll turn this into a gain of about four. It's going to lead to third down. To throw is Cousins. That'll be caught by the running back. Robinson and he looks to be a bit short of the line and that is going to bring up fourth down when you're willing to throw the ball short of the sticks on third down you know what that tells me Mike the decision to go for it on fourth down has already been made if you're able to pick it up with yards after the catch great but if not it's a fourth and short and you give yourself a realistic shot of converting on this fourth down Oh, the coverage was great. They gave him no room to operate and made him pay for catching the ball. The Steelers' offense and Russell Wilson set to take over once more. And he's been as good as advertised. Take you through some of the highlights. Four touchdown passes on point with his receivers right throughout and continuing to master running and executing this offense. He'll start this on the ground, and it's Harris. He'll bring this up to the 22. A.J. Terrell up for the tackle. Second and seven. From the gun, it's Wilson. Down he goes. Defense came out in a soft zone. I think it caught the quarterback a little off guard. He was trying to attack them downfield. By the time he was able to get through his progression to his check down, he ran out of time. And that's all the pass rush needed to get into the backfield and bring him down. 
third and long. From the shotgun, Wilson. Got a man over the middle. It's Pickens. Call it a gain of 13. Good for a Steeler first down. This is what every offense looks to do, Mike. They want to attack the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. And oftentimes, that's where the chunk plays come. Give it to your receiver on the move and let them do the rest. They'll come up here first and ten. Now Russ. His throw on first downs would be incomplete. He just rushed that decision just a little bit downfield. I mean, it's one thing to trust your guy to make a play in tight coverage. We see quarterbacks do that all the time. But I think if he was a little bit more patient in his progression, there was an easier throw out there that wouldn't make him have to throw such a tight window ball and put his receiver in a tight spot. Harris, a uh, first down. He's not done. And he's going to be running out of the bounds, but not until he gets down to the 40-yard line. That is a big-time play for the Steelers. And even 30 yards. There's a combination of footwork and vision, his ability to kind of weave through traffic and understand where the holes were. It's a really nice job working through some bodies and picking up a big game. take this all the way home. Jalen Warren, touchdown Steelers. Big play out of the running game as the back accelerates all the way to the house for the rushing touchdown. And Mike, when we talk about burst, that's what we're talking about. And they told us all week, be ready for this guy. He's got something special to him. And that long touchdown there is exactly what they're talking about. Boswell now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Steelers will extend this third quarter lead. Personal foul. Dropping the kicker. Defense. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he decides not to bring it out, so they'll take over at the 30-yard line. They'll start on the ground with Robinson. And tough running there. He's up to the 32. That's Alex Highsmith in for the tackle. They'll go again with Robinson. And he'll manage to get to the 33. Joey Porter Jr. that time up to make the play. Here's third and seven. Cousins. Now a screen going to be set up for Robinson. And great determination as he gets forward and picks up the first down. The best time to call a screen is when the defense is anticipating pass. So some of these third and medium, third and long situations, it's the perfect time. Allow that defensive front to rush the passer. Just get through the offensive line enough before you drop it to your back. Get out behind those big offensive linemen and pick up the first down. On the handoff, here's Robinson running right. 
And a nice run there. He'll be stopped just shy of a first down. A pickup of nine. This is one of those cases where having high-end speed in the backfield can be such a game-changer. The offensive linemen don't need to hold their blocks quite as long. You get this guy a little bit of a crease, and man, he is gone. Now a second down throw for Cousins. To the right. That's Pitts. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. A gain there of 10 yards. It's good for a Falcon first down. shotgun snap and they'll give it to Robinson and he'll get about six there setting up second down Working out of the gun, it's Cousins. That's complete to McLeod. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. Checking it down, this, he's going to be hit after the catch, and the ball comes free. And the defense has it. Mike, we hear that term, run after catch, so often, and sometimes people miss that there's kind of a middle phase. There's the catch, but before it turns into a run, you have to secure the ball as a ball carrier, right? It needs to be put away, properly held, points of pressure, front tip up against your body. All of that is kind of taken for granted. Catching it is just step one. You've got to secure the ball before you become a runner. They go play action now. Wilson, he'll let this go. Deep for Jefferson. A great connection there. They're going to bring it down inside the 35-yard line. That is a big-time play for the Steelers. It's a gain of 49. This is pretty high-level quarterback play right here. He knew before the snap, all he had to do was manipulate one defender with his eyes, and once he bit, ball comes out on the money, big pickup. On first down, Wilson. That's pulled in, Najee Harris. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. All right, so there's really three areas that a modern NFL running back has to excel in. Number one, the traditional handoffs. Yes, you have to operate out of the backfield like a traditional running back. Number two, you have to be excellent and reliable in pass protection and maybe bigger than all of them. And the rush to strong. They're in there in a flash for the set. What I loved about this play, Mike, was the body language of the middle linebacker before the ball was snapped. We see so often they get antsy. They start tipping the blitz, and then the offensive line and the running back is able to pick them up. In this case, it didn't look before the snap like he was going to come. He times it perfectly, 
Nobody accounted for him, and he records the sack. The play clock down to zero, and this not the best of sequences. Still third down. Third and long, it's Wilson. And he's able to take this for good yardage before sliding and hitting the deck to end the play. Sometimes it's just the case of taking what the defense gives you. And here's one of those examples. There's nowhere for him to go with the ball for a minute. It looked like he was going to be able to pick up this first down with his legs. The defense rallies, brings him down short of the first down marker, sets up fourth down. Boswell's kick is good. And the Steelers will extend their third quarter lead and this is what you want I mean you clearly have the advantage but you want to continue to apply pressure can you score every time you get the ball they're able to do that here they tack on three and extend their lead McLeod now to return and they'll bring him down just shy of the 30 yard line Here's Bijan Robinson and the Falcon offense set for their next drive. They're in need of points in a big way as they set out on first and ten. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. Drake London was the intended receiver there. And it'll lead to a second down. Cousins gonna throw. This is caught down that right sideline. And they are not gonna catch up to him. He will score. 71 yards. Touchdown Atlanta. Here's Coop for the extra point. He gets it to go. And the Falcons are able to edge a bit closer. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Patterson now to return it. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Play action. It's Wilson. He'll get this over the middle to Jefferson. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. Out of the gun, it's Wilson. Quick throw on target to Pickens. 11 yards on the pass there. That's a Steeler first down. Mike, think back to our conversation during the break. We've kind of both asked ourselves, are they content with this double-digit lead? Do they come out and play conservative here in the second half? Well, it took exactly one play to get our answer. They continue to get chunk plays like this. This thing could get out of reach fast. And he'll be marked down at the 45-yard line. He was marked down at the 45-yard line. 
So, no shortage of offense in this one as we end the third. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On first down, right back to Harris. And they're going to get him down this time. Not as easy as the last carry. This time they drop him behind the line of scrimmage. Second down. When you can get this level of run support out of your secondary, my man, what an advantage for any defense. This defensive back clearly reads run, gets off his block, and he's able to take down the back for a loss of yards. Out of the gun, here's Russ. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. They come to the line needing 11 here on third down. Now Wilson. Taking off, he'll try to get there. And he's able to gain yardage out of this one before he slides. And that's a great job defensively here on third down. Not only taking away all the options down the field through the air, but when the quarterback decides to turn into a runner himself, they're able to converge and make the play and keep him short of the first down. Steelers getting ready to put this one away. As they try to play the field position game here, protecting a fourth quarter lead. And no chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. The Falcons offense make their way out to take over once more. They'll do so with first and ten. Cousins now. He's got his man. It's Mooney. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. Cousins now on second down. Over the middle, that's his tight end pitch. Things certainly look a little improbable right now, Mike, but I wouldn't say impossible. I think they've got to capitalize on this possession to pick up some points. Good start there. Early completion, but now they've got to get across midfield and go. Every single possession right now is priceless. Points, possessions, and then they've got to get some defensive stops. That one is caught by Mooney. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. Pitts is the man in motion. Second down, Cousins. They'll try to hit him with a screen. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. They had the right play call. The screen goes for 15. And a first down. It's been tough sledding for this offense all day today, Mike, but especially here in the second half. So they are just in desperate need of a spark. Just something to get their offense into a little bit of a rhythm if they want to have any chance to find themselves back into this game here late. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Mooney in motion. They'll keep it on the ground. Space hard to come by there. Tackle made right around the 40-yard line. Here's second and nine. 
Throwing now, Cousins. Open man, he's got it. It's London. He'll get about six before he's taken down. Cousins out of the gun on third down. That's to Pitts, the tight end. And he will have the first down. The drive will continue after a pickup of eight. When you put plays like this on tape, it sends a message to every defender across the league. When you play this offense and this guy has the ball, you better bring it when you come to contact him, because if not, you're going to be on the wrong end of it. On first and ten, Cousins. He'll get this to Pitts once more. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. Now a second down throw for Cousins. That's caught right side. It's London. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a game of seven. Recognizing the blitz is just the first step in the process for a quarterback understanding who you can account for with the protection and then who you can't account for. That's where your hot receiver comes in. He points to his receiver who the defender they're hot off of. That guy comes, gets the ball out of his hand, and results in a completion. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. This has really been the story of this entire game, Mike. I mean, this pass rush has had the advantage over the offense pretty much from the jump. They've already recorded a couple of sacks, a handful of close calls, and it's the pressure in the backfield is why this team finds themselves with the lead here late in this ballgame. That'll be caught by the running back, Robinson. And he'll be stopped short of the first down. He's able to look it in and get forward for a pickup of about eight. There's a lot of ways to get the ball in the hands of your running backs, and it's not always by just handing it to them. In this case, it's a simple check down, picks up a good gain, brings up third down. Now a third and two. Working out of the gun, it's Cousins. And this is too far over the end line. It's incomplete. Teams practice these situations all week long, Mike. Down here in the tight red zone, you find yourself inside the 10-yard line. You're thinking, we've got to come away with the touchdown. Well, after that third down incomplete, it's going to be real interesting to see how they approach this fourth down after failing on third. So anytime an offense comes off the field after settling for three, you always have to take the good with the bad. In order to get down there in field goal range, you had to do something positive to move the ball. But at the same time, how are we going to be able to finish these drives and convert for six the next time we get down there? Austin now to return this. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. And what's that one thing you hear from coaches all the time, Mike, right? Finish strong, and he's doing just that. His numbers here in this one, they have been terrific. But he's going to give you a full four quarters, and I think at this point in the game, he knows there's even more yards to be had. And that'll be good for about a half dozen. It'll set up for second down. Play clock at zero, and that'll cost them five. Still second down. Still second down. On the ground, this is Harris. And this is going to make the play caller have good run. Eight yards. Much more manageable third down coming up. 
It's tough to completely celebrate, Mike, when you don't pick up the first down, but that's a run you will take every single time. I mean, good yardage in a lot of situations, it'll get you the first down, just not here. He'll give it to Harris again. It's a gain of 10 yards. Good for a Steeler first down. And this running game has really been rolling, Mike, all game long. The holes, the run lanes, they've been there consistently. Here's another nice run as they look to put this game away. Another run here with Harris. And he finds a little bit of space. He'll take this forward for a gain of four. Off the play fake. Here's Wilson. He's got fire move open on the left side. Pick up there of 19 yards. That's a Steeler first down. Anybody who thought this coach was going to get conservative with this late lead is sadly mistaken, Mike. They're out here still throwing haymakers with this passing game. They're not content with just having the lead. They're looking to increase it. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. That is brought in at the 10. And they're going to get this all the way down inside the 5. They get 24 on that one. And just like that, it's first and goal. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. An opportunity for what could be a game ceiling touchdown right here. First down and goal. They'll run with Harris. And he's into the end zone. That might be the knockout punch. Najee Harris. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Everything you want to do right there, Greg, in the fourth quarter, get the ball with the lead and extend it to a two-score advantage. Yeah, and I think this just might end up being too much to overcome. You said it. Once you get a two-score lead this late in the fourth quarter, there's just not enough possessions to be had to claw yourself back in it. On for the extra point is Boswell. The kick, the kick is, is good. good. And the Steelers will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. On the return, it's Williams. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. On first down, Cousins. Over the middle, caught by London. And a mark him down just shy of the 40. 12 yards on the game. That's good for a quick first down. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Certainly not one of his better throws, but what I've loved out of this quarterback today, Mike, was just how aggressive he's remained throughout the entire course of the game. Continue to push the ball downfield. Even if it falls incomplete, it opens up everything else in this passing game, and they've had their way so far today. On second down, Cousins again. 
Now a screen going to be set up for Robinson. He'll get about six before he's taken down. So two minutes left to play in the second half. Greg and I back for the conclusion. In a moment. Important moment here. Third down and four. That is incomplete. And here we go. They're down to what could be their final play. It's fourth down. And on that third down, they thought an easy way to pick it up and get some positive yards would go to their quick game, but it didn't seem like the receiver and the quarterback were on the same page and now brings up fourth down. Now or never, they'll throw on fourth down. He's got his tight end. That's Pitts. And they're going to get the first down. They were forced to go for it, and it's going to work out for them. Some teams just had a stronger appetite for being willing to go for fourth down tries. Even on their side of the field, Mike, and we're seeing it so much more often, the days of just punting the ball back and forth and saying, hey, we're going to play good defense. Remember, the better your defense, that doesn't mean you should punt. The better your defense, the more chances you should take on offense. They'll look to set up the screen here. They had the right play call. The screen goes for 15 and a first down. The relationship between the back and the offensive lineman is now the key for the run after catch. You want to make sure those linemen don't get too far down the field where they can't help protect the back. So once the running back catches it, there's a go-go call. Now everyone knows it's time to go downfield. The running back falls in behind them, and that's the landmark of the screen play. They'll come up now for second down. They'll drop to throw. There's that man again. Another catch. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. The drag route is certainly not the most complicated route on the route tree, but a really nice job there using the scheme to create separation. He did a really nice job there working across the middle of the field as he made himself open. Quick throw taken in. And he will get into the end zone. Darnell Mooney. Touchdown, Falcons. And now it's a nine-point game, so they'll go for just one here. It's up and through. And the Falcons are back within one score. It is an eight-point game. score game late you figure they gotta have this one as they'll try an onside kick with the rule changes on kickoff mike it's just so hard to really expect to recover an onside kick nowadays there's a lot of people pushing for kind of a radical change to this hey can we make it fourth and 15 offense gets the go if they convert it they keep the ball i'm not sure that ever happens but we can see here an onside kick not much of a chance. And all you can do at this point, Mike, is just really marvel at how well he's been able to run the ball. And throughout the course of the game, they've certainly not been shy in giving it to him. And I think he's held up his side of the bargain. Right away, they'll try a jet sweep. He'll take this down to the 43. A short pick up there. Falcons go ahead and take their second timeout. And they'll get together prior to the second down play. A 
give, and here comes Harris. And it'll be taken down at the 25-yard line. Now the Falcons will use their third and final timeout. The stoppage comes with just over a minute to play in this one. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. The defense still with all three timeouts at their disposal as the quarterback's down two and eight. So this one, a win for the visiting Steelers. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. But in the end, they got a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. And that was the difference in this one. And that'll do it for my partner, Greg Olson. For our entire team, I'm Mike Tirico. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.